Percomorpha are the most diverse group of teleost fish today, most known fishes are from this wide group. The giant cusk eel is a common fish of deep oceans worldwide. It is bathydemersal, living along the ocean floor most often at depths between 2,000 and 3,000 meters, and known from waters as deep as 4,800 meters the male is larger than the female and darker in color. The large head hair tail has a distinct and elongated body shape, resembling a ribbon or a long eel. It has a slender, cylindrical body with a pointed snout and a prominent large head, giving it its common name. They are often targeted by commercial fisheries in various regions, and their flesh is considered delicious and used in various cuisines. The Domini is a tropical species of snake mackerel found in all oceans at depths of from 100 to 185 meters this species can reach a length of 100 centimeters though most do not exceed 45 centimeters while not specifically targeted, this fish is edible and is eaten when caught. Dogtooth tunas are pelagic fish that inhabit offshore waters. They are fierce and opportunistic predators that primarily feed on smaller fishes, squids, and even seabirds. They are known for their powerful jaws and sharp teeth, which allow them to capture and devour their prey. Skipjack tuna are highly migratory and can be found in both offshore and coastal environments. They are known to associate with floating objects, such as debris or vegetation, where they find shelter and food. They are opportunistic predators that feed on a variety of prey. They are known for their ability to feed in schools and engage in cooperative hunting behavior. They are one of the most commercially important tuna species worldwide. They are extensively harvested for both commercial and recreational purposes. Almost all fish are cold-blooded. However, tuna and mackerel sharks are warm-blooded, they can regulate their body temperature. Warm-blooded fish possess organs near their muscles called Risha mirabilia that consist of a series of minute parallel veins and arteries that supply and drain the muscles. As the warmer blood in the veins returns to the gills for fresh oxygen it comes into close contact with cold, newly oxygenated blood in the arteries. The Pacific bluefin tuna is a commercially valuable species and several thousand tons are caught each year, making it overfished. Big eye tuna undertake a distinct deal shift in vertical behavior, generally descending at dawn to deeper, cooler waters and returning to shallower, warmer waters at dusk. During the day they can undertake vertical movements into waters of 300 to 500 meters depth that can be as much as 20 degrees cooler than surface waters. West Atlantic trumpetfish is closely related to cornetfish. This species can be a bit more than 90 centimeters long and have greatly elongated and compressed bodies, with a compressed head which has with small jaws at the front end of their long, tubular snouts. It is a largely passivorous ambush predator which is known to hide among shoals of large herbivorous fish, shadowing the fish until it is close enough to a prey item to strike. It will also hang vertically among gorgonians or drift with the current, capturing any prey that swims underneath it. Seahorses are known for their unique appearance. They have a fish-like body with a horse-like head and a long, tubular snout. They swim vertically, using their dorsal fin to propel themselves forward. 
they exhibit a rare reproductive behavior where the males carry and give birth to the young. After an elaborate courtship dance, the female deposits her eggs into a specialized pouch on the male's abdomen. Many species form monogamous pairs and mate for life. They are not strong swimmers, they often anchor themselves by using their prehensile tails to hold on to vegetation or coral. Ornate ghost pipefish are benthic and typically inhabit shallow coastal areas, including coral reefs and seagrass beds. They are often found in association with various types of vegetation and use their camouflage abilities to blend in with their surroundings. They are carnivorous and primarily feed on small crustaceans. They have a long, tubular snout that allows them to probe crevices and reach small prey items. Similar to other pipefish and seahorses, it exhibits male pregnancy. After a courtship ritual, the female transfers her eggs to the male's brood pouch. The male then fertilizes the eggs and carries them until they hatch, releasing miniature pipefish. Cardinal fishes are native to the Indian and Pacific Ocean. Several of these species are commensal with various species of sea urchins. Kissing guramis are generally peaceful and social fish with distinctive mouth structure with thick, fleshy lips that resemble a pout. They are known for their peculiar behavior of kissing, where two individuals press their mouths together, often in territorial or courtship displays. However, it's important to note that this behavior is not a display of affection but rather a dominance or territorial behavior. They are typically found in slow-moving or stagnant freshwater environments. They are omnivorous, feeding on a varied diet. Amphistium had one eye partially migrated towards the top of its head, but not all the way around yet, showing a transitional state between its bilaterally symmetric ancestors and its more twisted skulled modern relatives. Unlike most modern flatfish it came in both right-eyed and left-eyed forms in equal numbers, suggesting that a genetic preference for a specific side also hadn't developed yet. The bizarre arrangement of flatfish is an adapting to life lying flat on the seafloor, but instead of slowly widening and flattening themselves out they took an evolutionary shortcut by simply tipping their tall narrow bodies over onto one side. Initially this would have left one of their eyes unusable, but random mutations causing slightly asymmetrical skulls would have rapidly become highly advantageous to the earliest members of this lineage, and over time they just got wonkier and wonkier. The Pacific halibut is probably the biggest flatfish. Olive flounder first start out upright like normal fish, but then after 24 to 50 days after hatching they turn onto their side. Their previous side now becomes their belly or their backside and then their eye and nostril move towards what is now considered the back. This process is typically called the metamorphosis. After achieving metamorphosis, the flounder move offshore and begin feeding on bigger fish in order to grow to their adult size. It is often found in soft and muddy offshore, coastal areas where the water level goes down to 100 m in depth. The European place is characterized, on their dorsal side, by their dark green to dark brown skin, blotched with conspicuous, but irregularly distributed, orange spots. The ventral side is pearly white. The skin is smooth with small scales. 
They are able to adapt their color somewhat to match that of their surroundings, but the orange spots always remain visible. The skin lacks any prickles. It can live up to 20 years and will reach its maximum size at about 50 to 70 centimeters place is sometimes used as the fish in fish and chips, in countries where the dish is popular. Bluefin trevally are highly social fish and are often observed in small to large schools. They are known for their impressive speed and agility in the water, making them formidable hunters. They are highly regarded as a sport fish due to their strength, speed, and challenging fight when hooked. They are sought after by anglers in many tropical fishing destinations. Bluefin trevally have a streamlined and elongated body with a deep blue or greenish-blue coloration on the upper body, fading to silver or white on the lower body. They have a forked tail and a prominent black spot on the gill cover. Barracudas are voracious predators and opportunistic feeders. They primarily feed on smaller fish, such as reef fish and schooling species. With their powerful jaws and sharp teeth, they are able to capture and consume prey swiftly. They are known for their aggressive and fast swimming behavior. They are capable of reaching high speeds to chase down their prey. They often hunt in solitary or small groups, relying on stealth and ambush tactics. Barracudas are generally not considered a threat to humans, but they can be attracted to shiny objects and may occasionally bite when mistaken for food. However, such incidents are rare. Barracudas face threats from overfishing, habitat degradation, and pollution, which can impact their populations. Swordfish have a distinctive appearance with a long, slender body and a bill that resembles a sword, hence their name. They inhabit the open ocean where they can be found near the surface, but are also capable of diving to depths of over 1,000 meters they are powerful and fast predators. They primarily feed on smaller fish and squid, using their sharp bill to slash and stun their prey. They are known for their high-speed bursts when hunting, reaching speeds of up to 97 km per hour. Shortbill spearfish can reach a length of 2 meters it is of minor importance to commercial fisheries and is also a game fish. Shortbill spearfish are characterized by a slim frame with a blue body that is silver underneath. It also possesses a very short bill extending from their upper jaw. Blue marlin is one of the largest species of billfish. It can grow to lengths of over 4.3 meters and weigh more than 900 kilograms they are highly sought after by sport fishermen due to their size, strength, and acrobatic displays when hooked. Catch and release practices are commonly encouraged to ensure the conservation of this prized species. Conservation efforts are important due to concerns about overfishing and habitat degradation. Various regulations and international agreements are in place to manage and protect blue marlin populations. Black marlins are more solid than their blue counterparts. They have a shorter bill and a rounder and lower dorsal fin. Black marlin may be distinguished from all other marlin species by their rigid pectoral fins, which are unable to be pressed flat against their sides but can be tilted further backwards for reduced drag. Diet mostly consists of various fish and cephalopods. The Indo-Pacific sailfish are pelagic fish that inhabit offshore waters, often found near the surface. 
They are known for their preference for warm waters and are commonly associated with areas of high productivity, such as currents, upwellings, and baitfish aggregations. They have a large and sharp bill, which they use for hunting. They feed on tuna and mackerel, some of the fastest fish in the ocean. It is theorized by marine biologists that the sail of the sailfish may serve the purpose of a cooling and heating system for this fish, this due to a network of a large number of blood vessels found in the sail and because of sail raising behavior exhibited by the sailfish at or near the surface waters after or before high speed bursts. Archerfish are known for their unique hunting technique. They have the ability to shoot jets of water from their mouths to dislodge insects or other small prey from overhanging vegetation or branches. They accurately aim and spit water at their prey, knocking it into the water where they can then consume it. They primarily feed on insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates that are within their reach. They are skilled at calculating the trajectory and distance required to hit their prey with a precise shot of water. They are usually found in small groups or schools. They have a hierarchical social structure, with dominant individuals exerting control over access to food and territory. Atlantic needlefish are carnivorous predators, with their long jaws and sharp teeth, they are capable of capturing and consuming prey that is smaller than them. They are known for their swift and agile swimming abilities, capable of swimming at high speeds near the water surface, often leaping out of the water when pursued or startled. They play a role in the food chain as both predators and prey. They are an important food source for larger predatory fish and seabirds. Flying fish have special adaptations that enable them to glide above the water's surface. They have long, wing-like pectoral fins, which act as wings, and a streamlined body shape that helps reduce drag. When pursued by predators or disturbed, flying fish can rapidly accelerate underwater and then launch themselves into the air by beating their tails against the water surface. They can glide for distances of up to 200 meters with a speed of about 70 kilometers per hour. They repeat this gliding behavior multiple times to escape from predators or travel to new feeding grounds. Priapum fishes are small, no more than 3.5 cm in length, with partially translucent bodies. They are named for a muscular organ found under the chin of males. This organ, which may possess small testicles, is used together with the pelvic fins to grasp the female during mating. Unlike most other fish, they exhibit internal fertilization, although they are oviparous. The most distinctive feature of the anableps fish is its eyes. They have eyes that are divided into two parts by a band of tissue, giving them the appearance of having four eyes. The upper part of each eye is adapted for vision above the water's surface, while the lower part is adapted for vision below the water, this ability helps them detect potential threats from above and prey underwater. They are typically found in freshwater habitats. They are surface-dwelling fish and spend much of their time near the water's surface, where they feed and breathe. Some species of anableps face habitat loss and degradation due to human activities such as deforestation and water pollution.
Clownfish have a unique symbiotic relationship with certain species of sea anemones. They live among the tentacles of the anemones, which provide them with protection from predators. In return, the clownfish help the anemone by removing parasites and providing nutrients through their waste. They have a mucus layer on their skin that protects them from the stinging cells of the sea anemone. This adaptation allows them to safely live within the anemone's tentacles without being harmed. They are known for their vibrant colors, which can vary depending on the species. They have a social structure based on a dominance hierarchy. The Roland's Demoiselle is a small size fish and can reach a maximum size of 7 cm in length. It is of some commercial importance in the aquarium trade. It is not very aggressive in attempting to extend territory but strongly territorial in protecting its ownership of area. It is widespread throughout the tropical waters of the central Indo-Pacific region. It lives on reefs among corals and in lagoons and harbors. Unlike other fish, the mudskipper's eyes protrude from the top of its flat head. Their most noticeable feature however is their side pectoral fins that are located more forward and under their elongated body. These fins are jointed and function similarly to limbs, which allow the mudskipper to crawl from place to place. Although having the typical body form of any other gobied fish, these front fins allow the mudskipper to actively skip across muddy surfaces and even climb low-hanging tree branches and scrubs. They have the ability to breathe through their skin and the lining of their mouth and throat, this is only possible when the mudskippers are wet, limiting them to humid habitats and requiring that they keep themselves moist. This mode of breathing, similar to that employed by amphibians, is known as cutaneous respiration. Very opportunistic predators, humphead wrasse preys primarily on invertebrates such as mollusks and fish. Because half of echinoids and most pelecipods hide under the sand, wrasses may rely on fish excavators like stingrays, or they themselves may excavate by ejecting water to display sand and nosing around for prey. They often crack sea urchins by carrying them to a rock in their mouths and striking them against the rock with brisk, sideways head movements. Its numbers have declined due to multiple threats, like overfishing, degradation of its habitat, tourism invasion and inadequate knowledge of the species. The Asian sheep's head wrasse has a distinct and remarkable appearance. Males are particularly impressive, with a large hump on their forehead that becomes more prominent as they age. They have thick lips and a strong jaw filled with sharp teeth. They are known for their slow and deliberate swimming style. They are generally non-aggressive towards humans but can be territorial and aggressive towards other fish. It is a hermaphroditic species, meaning that it has both male and female organs which allows it to change its sex. Excelia is a genus of extinct spadefish that lived in the Tethys Ocean during the early Paleogene. The adult form is shaped akin to a large spadefish or a short dolphin fish, with very large pelvic fins, and a long dorsal fin starting from in front of the eyes to near the base of the caudal peduncle. Mackerel icefish has a maximum lifespan of 15 years and eats krill. They are in turn preyed on by seabirds, seals and other notithans. This species practices daily vertical migration and is a schooling species. Ice fish, which becomes reproductively mature at four years old, is a synchronous spawner and spawns in the southern hemisphere autumn and winter. Sexually mature males have a significantly higher dorsal fin than females. 
this species moves inshore to spawn. Females produce 10,000 to 20,000 large eggs that remain on the seabed for about three months before hatching. Terracombus is a genus of pomfret distinguished by greatly elongated dorsal and anal fins. Along with the genus Terraclus, these fishes are commonly referred to as fan fishes. Terracombus can be distinguished from Terraclus by examining the dorsal and anal fin rays, which should be relatively uniform in thickness to neighboring rays and by a lack of scales anterior to the dorsal fin. Oceanic. The Pacific fanfish is very rare and most likely seen as stomach content of large predatory fishes, such as tunas. Young probably inhabits shallow, while adults live in deep water. Dorsal and anal fins are very high. Adult Nile perch occupy all habitats of a lake with sufficient oxygen concentrations, while juveniles are restricted to shallow or nearshore environments. A fierce predator that dominates its surroundings, the Nile perch feeds on fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. They use schooling as a mechanism to protect themselves from other predators. Nile perch have been introduced to many other lakes in Africa. The World Conservation Union's Invasive Species Specialist Group considers Lates Niloticus one of the world's 100 worst invasive species. Perch are opportunistic predators and have a varied diet, including fish and invertebrates. It typically spawns in the spring when water temperatures rise. They are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. The female releases sticky egg masses that adhere to submerged vegetation or other structures. They are ambush predators and use their camouflage and quick bursts of speed to capture prey. They play an important role in freshwater ecosystems as both predator and prey. They help control populations of smaller fish and aquatic invertebrates, contributing to the overall balance of the ecosystem. Red sea breams are carnivorous and feed on a variety of prey. They use their strong jaws and sharp teeth to capture and consume their prey. They are protogenous hermaphrodites, meaning they start their lives as females and may change sex to become males later in life. Spawning typically occurs during the spring and summer months when water temperatures are favorable. The females release large quantities of eggs into the water, which are fertilized externally by the males. They are commercially important fish in the aquaculture industry. Brown barred rock cod is mainly a coastal species which is found on silty, dead, and living coral reefs as deep as 30 meters it is a carnivore which preys mainly on other fishes and on crustaceans. It is a protogenous hermaphrodite, they undergo a sex change from females to males, although some are born as males. Atlantic Goliath groupers are typically found in areas with complex structures, such as coral reefs and wrecks, where they can seek shelter and ambush their prey. They are solitary and territorial fish, often establishing their territories around specific underwater structures. They have a relatively slow growth rate and can live for several decades. As opportunistic predators, they have a varied diet that includes a wide range of prey. They primarily feed on fish, such as smaller reef fish, as well as crustaceans, like lobsters and crabs. They are known to use their large mouths and powerful jaws to engulf and swallow prey whole. Threadfin butterflyfish has a distinctive appearance with a deep, compressed body and a pointed snout. The rear portion of its dorsal fin is elongated, giving it the name threadfin. They primarily feed on a variety of invertebrates, including coral polyps, worms, and small mollusks. They are highly territorial and defend their feeding territories from other butterflyfish and intruders. It has a close association with coral reefs. They depend on the coral for food and shelter, as well as for the protection it offers from predators. 
Their bright yellow coloration also provides camouflage among the vibrant colors of the coral reef. Blueface angelfish usually live singly or in pairs and feeds on tunicates, sponges, other encrusting organisms and algae. It is an egg-laying species and scatters its eggs on the seabed. They are known for their impressive size. They can reach lengths of up to 38 centimeters in the wild. They are characterized by its vibrant blue face, which extends from its eyes to the gill cover. The rest of its body is predominantly yellow with vertical black lines. The regal tang has a vibrant blue body with a yellow tail fin. They are herbivorous and feed primarily on algae. They use their sharp, beak-like mouths to scrape algae from rocks and coral surfaces. In aquarium settings, they can be fed a combination of commercial herbivore preparations, dried seaweed, and other vegetable matter. They are generally peaceful fish but can be territorial, especially towards their own species or similar-looking fish. They are known for their swimming agility and can be seen darting in and out of coral formations. They are also known to form loose aggregations or small groups. Shaggy frogfish are masters of camouflage. They have the ability to change their color and texture to match their surroundings, making them nearly invisible to both predators and prey. Their ability to mimic their environment allows them to lie in wait for unsuspecting prey to approach. As ambush predators, they have a unique feeding strategy. They use their modified dorsal spine, known as an elysium, to dangle the esca in front of their mouth to attract prey. When a suitable prey item gets close enough, they will quickly lunge forward and engulf it with their large mouth. They are primarily sedentary creatures, preferring to stay in one location for extended periods. Female Atlantic football fish are about 60 centimeters long, while males are much smaller, only 4 centimeters. The female's extremely rotund body is studded with bony plates, each bearing a central spine. The modified ray on the head makes a thick fishing rod, tipped with a lure on a central luminous bulb. It uses this to attract smaller fish in the dark abyss. Despite the male's tiny size, it is not parasitic, unlike the males of many other anglerfish. Triplewort sea devil displays extreme sexual dimorphism, where dwarfed males parasitize the larger females. Their specialized jaw has an anterior pair of denticular teeth that are longer than their posterior pair. Males permanently attach themselves to the ventral side of females with this specialized jaw meant for grasping a female mate. Once attached, tissue fusion occurs, permanently binding the mouth and one side of the male to the surface of the female. After attachment, the male becomes dependent on the female for blood-circulated nutrients due to the fusion of the circulatory and digestive systems. This case of extreme sexual dimorphism is favored by natural selection due to the random dispersal of individuals. With no bioluminescent lure and an unusual tooth arrangement, it is unclear what the toothed sea devil feeds upon and how. It has been suggested that their external jaw teeth serve to entangle soft-bodied invertebrates. The males are fully parasitic, using tooth-bearing denticles at the tips of their jaws to attach to the female and their tissues and blood vessels becoming fused with that of the female. Like most other anglerfish, cosmopolitan whipnose have a bioluminescent lure attached to their heads called an esca. The esca serves to attract prey in the darkness of the deep sea. It emits light to mimic the movements of small organisms, luring in potential prey closer to the anglerfish's mouth. They are predators that feed on other deep-sea organisms. They use their enormous mouths and expandable stomachs to consume prey items that are often larger than themselves. 
They have long, needle-like teeth that allow them to grasp and hold on to their prey. This species has adaptations to survive in these extreme conditions, such as specialized enzymes and proteins that allow them to function at low temperatures and adaptations to withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea. Devil angler have a highly specialized and distinctive appearance. They typically have a small, globular body with a large head and a wide mouth. They possess long, slender, and filamentous appendages known as elytia, which extend from their heads. Bioluminescence in bathyal benthic species still remains poorly studied due to difficulties of the collection of species at this depth. Fangtooths are highly efficient predators. Despite their small size, they have one of the largest tooth-to-body size ratios of any fish. Their large fong-like teeth allow them to capture and hold on to their prey, which primarily consists of small fish and invertebrates. In the deep sea environment where light is scarce, they have evolved large, sensitive eyes to help them detect the faintest traces of light. This adaptation allows them to locate prey and navigate their surroundings effectively. They have other adaptations to cope with these conditions, including a reduced swim bladder, which helps them maintain buoyancy at different depths. Fangtooths play a role in the deep sea food chain as predators. The black swallower feeds on bony fish, which are swallowed whole. With its greatly distensible stomach, it is capable of swallowing prey over twice its length and ten times its mass. Its upper jaws are articulated with the skull at the front via the suspensorium, which allows the jaws to swing down and encompass objects larger than the swallower's head. They have been found to have swallowed fish so large that they could not be digested before decomposition set in, and the resulting release of gases forced the swallower to the ocean surface. Little is known about the diet of the three-tooth puffer. Its intestinal tract is lined with several papillae, protrusions of the gut lumen after the stomach, the tract branches off into a specialized sac-like compartment called Tyler's pouch. Within the Tyler's pouch the papillae are much larger in size and number compared to those prior. The role and function of Tyler's pouch is largely unknown. Adults longhorn cowfish are reef fish, often solitary and territorial, and live around sand or rubble bottom up to a depth of 50 meters they are omnivorous, feeding upon benthic algae, various microorganisms, and foraminiferans that it strains from sediments, able to feed on benthic invertebrates by blowing jets of water into the sandy substrate. They protect the coral reefs they live in by being predators of the invertebrates that destroy the reefs. They are also important in the growth and creation of coral reefs for this same reason. The ocean sunfish has a unique body shape that sets it apart from other fish species. It has a laterally compressed body that is disc-like in appearance, resembling a large floating head with no tail fin. This unique shape gives it its scientific name, Mola Mola, which means millstone in Latin. Despite its massive size, it primarily feeds on a diet consisting mainly of jellyfish and other gelatinous organisms. It has a large mouth with small, fused teeth that are not well suited for chewing. Instead, it uses a technique called suction feeding to engulf its prey hole. It often floats near the surface of the water, 
basking in the sunlight. This behavior is believed to serve multiple purposes, including thermoregulation, parasite removal, and the stimulation of vitamin D synthesis. Like other pufferfish species, yellowfin puffer contains a potent toxin called tetrodotoxin. Tetrodotoxin is a highly toxic substance that can be deadly to humans if ingested in sufficient quantities. It is produced by certain bacteria that inhabit the pufferfish's body. As a defense mechanism, the pufferfish accumulates this toxin in its organs, particularly the liver and ovaries. Japanese puffer is a carnivorous fish that primarily feeds on small invertebrates and crustaceans. It has strong jaws and sharp teeth that it uses to crush and eat its prey. Its diet may also include small fish and algae. A feature of this species is that it has a very small genome, which is used as a reference for identifying genes and other elements in human and other vertebrate genomes. It was the first vertebrate genome after the human genome to be made publicly available. Overfishing poses a significant threat to marine ecosystems, depleting fish populations and disrupting the delicate balance of marine life. The existence of a vast, plastic continent, in the ocean serves as a stark reminder of the detrimental impact of plastic pollution on marine ecosystems and the urgent need for global action to address this environmental crisis.